Hey guys, this is Bunny, and today I've got a professional dog grooming trick that you can use that will save you both time and money washing your pet. This is Bree, the four-year-old schnauzer who's going to be our test puppy. At professional grooming salons, we like to use these fancy wash nozzles for baths, but today you're not going to need it. All you're going to need is a random measuring cup like this and a cheap milk frother or electronic whisk. Step one and two is easy. First, you need your dog, and then you need your groomer. The next step is easy too. You only need to add one to two ounces of your soap to your measuring cup. Now add one to two ounces of warm water. Generally, you wanna keep it to a one to one or a two to one ratio. Now's the fun part. Once you got your soap and water mixture, you're gonna to wanna to whisk it for about 60 seconds. Be careful, it's gonna foam a lot and makes lots of bubbles. This is kind of like cooking or wanting to froth the soap into strong, stiff peaks with an almost meringue-like foam. Frothing soap like this has many great benefits, not just cleaning better and saving soap, but also the fact that you don't actually have to wet the dog down first. You can apply this directly to a dry dog. So if you have an anxious dog, this makes bath time just a little bit easier. This is a trick that mobile and house call groomers use who don't have access to as much soap and water as a normal brick and mortar salon. As you can see here, I'm able to scrub the soap and debris, who's completely dry, and it actually spreads fairly easily. Now you just bathe up your dog like normal. Not only does frothing save time and money on soap and water, but I find that it also helps with rinsing. Every dog that I've ever used frothing soap on tends to rinse very easily, leaving them squeaky clean. A little longer than a few minutes later. So, Bree is now super clean after her bubble bath. Thank you, Bree, for being our test puppy today, and thank you all for watching.